Today we're talking about why moving to Bluffton may actually be good for your health. Warning, this may have you looking at things a little differently. If you're looking to move, chances are you're looking for a place that will enhance your health and wellness. Maybe you're researching Bluffton thinking, hey, that looks like a pretty cool place. And you would be right. This place actually changed our way of life and our outlook. Let's talk about it in terms of body, mind, and spirit. If you're thinking you're a realtor, why are you talking about these frou-frou things? Ah, uh, you're crazy. Am I? I will make that connection for you at the end, so stay tuned. Let's start with the body first. The beautiful weather here practically year-round gives even the non-gym goers a chance to be active. My husband, God love him, he struggles with exercise, never liked it, never will, just not a gym goer. In northern climates where it's cold for half of the year, there's not much more to do than the gym if you want to get fit. Needless to say, my husband was knocked out of the game a long time ago. Wow. Damn. Lufton is made up largely of plant communities that have a lot of common areas. Bike paths, some are lit, there's street lights in many of the communities. Some of the paths are natural where they meander past lagoons and through the woods. There's a lot of great ways to get exercise. He's actually taken up walking every morning because the area is conducive for that. Between the weather, the communities, the walkways, the beautiful sunrises and sunsets, and lagoon views really makes it a lot easier for him to get out and exercise. It's also relatively flat here, so it makes it a little bit more tolerable to do longer walks. To vary it, he's also taken up bike riding. There's some great bike trails that led on right outside of many of the communities. Some communities are even so large, you can practically ride around your community all day, especially if you like looking at houses like I do being in real estate. But if you decide to leave your community, do not forget you have 12 miles of ocean beaches that you can ride your bike on right next door to Hilton Head. Honestly, it's been a long time since I've seen him as energized and happy and active as he is today. If you may have somebody in your life in a similar position, well, this may be a great place for them too. On the other hand, if you are a gym goer, hear it for all the gym rats out there. I lift things up and put them down. Excuse me? This is also a great place for you too. Retirement or in the military or the police force or you just want to look decent on the beach. You can't hide those holiday pounds under layers of clothes anymore. Could I be wearing any more clothes? The weather won't let you do that, which is good. It kind of keeps us all in shackles. There are a lot of gyms down here, including CrossFit gyms, boot camps, yoga studios. My personal favorite, Synergy Fitness. It's a family-owned business. It's a fully well-stocked, well-equipped gym, and it's super convenient. There's also adult gymnastics down here, paddle boarding. Now, how cool is that? There's some new opportunities that perhaps you didn't have available to you before. I should add many of the communities, depending on the amenities that they offer, have fitness centers as well. So if you're not a gym goer and you're not an outdoor exerciser person, and you want something smaller and private, community gym may be the thing for you or the local recreation. And don't forget, swimming for exercise. Many of these communities also have lap pools available to you as well. And then there's always golf and pickleball and tennis to keep in shape without being in a gym or indoors at all. A second aspect of wellness, and as it relates to Bluffton, is the mind. For us, we wanted to quiet things down a little bit. Stress reduction was huge for us. We came from a place that we didn't like the way things were going anymore, and we no longer trusted where it was going. I won't name any names. Be subtle there. New York. You got the picture? So we chose Bluffton, South Carolina because we felt like it was a better fit for us. It was a place that we can embrace and acclimate to. If we wanted to make changes to a place that we lived, we would have just stayed where we were, although I think that would have been a losing battle. Here we found a great sense of community across various backgrounds and ages. Even the communities have its own subculture. Now when I say culture, I'm talking lifestyle. If you like the area, you find a community that you like, chances are you're going to find instant connections because people of similar mindset have also chosen that community, which in turn helps you become more involved to the extent that you want to, from its amenities to clubs to sports, classes. Many of these communities, especially the 55 pluses, have amazing organized activities. There's a saying, Bluffton is a state of mind, and I tell you, living here has been good for the mind as well. 
Last but not least, the third part of a well-balanced life is, of course, the spirit. You can interpret this any way that makes sense for you. If you are looking for a home in a church, you will find plenty of options here. Now, if church is not your thing and you find solace through nature and water, you're going to love Bluffton. If you've watched my other videos, you would have heard me talk about the nature here being like none other. And then there is Hilton Head. Once you head over that bridge, you smell the plus mud and the salt. Ah, there's nothing like it. As a matter of fact, I feel like, you know, when dogs stick their nose out the windows and they sniff. <laughs> That's what I feel like doing sometimes when I start heading over to the beaches because it's just something in it that's so healing and just soothes your soul. Now taking a step beyond the awesome wildlife and nature, we found that the connection to people has really enhanced our lives. People are very friendly here and the pace is a little more relaxed. Now Jersey and New York, you gotta calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> and I can say that I'm from New York, not New York City, which they go really fast. We came here because we wanted to embrace it and slow it down. It takes a little bit to get the lay of the land, but once you feel the pain, you're gonna wonder why did you ever do anything different. They call it the Bluffton state of mind and people are just genuinely happy and free to be here enjoying this amazing area. I wanna share with you one of my favorite places ever and it's a favorite place of many people and visitors. It is the Calhoun Street Dock, which is in Old Town Bluffton, right on the May River. This area is just so beautiful. To me, it's a bit magical. I have to visit it to see yourself. You're going to find people fishing, picnicking, painting, singing, walking dogs and taking pictures, such as weddings and graduations and maternity shoots. And it really gives you a view of all the beauty that is really here in life, and particularly represented in Bluffton. And if that is not good for the spirit, I don't know what is. What on earth does this have to do with real estate? Moving is a big life change for anybody. It was for us. And just as health and wellness has three main aspects, real estate also has various aspects. There's the financial part, the transactional part, and then there's you, your lifestyle. Think of it like a three-legged stool and you neglect one of those elements, it creates an unstable foundation. Well, the same thing with real estate, you've got those three elements and we have to pay attention to all of them. If you do, then you will have a solid foundation. You might be thinking, all right, Pollyanna, you just talked about all these glowing things. The realities are there's always pluses and minuses. That is why I would like you to watch this video next, the pros and cons of living in Bluffton, South Carolina, to get the other side of the coin.